Hey friends, Mrs. Salerno here, and I have our math lesson for the day. You guys have been working on building T numbers this week. So I have these cool cubes here, and they come in a group of 10. So if I hold this up here close, you can see that this 10 stick is actually made up of cubes that have been stuck together. And they don't come apart, which tells us that we always, always know it's a group of 10. So let's count and make sure it's 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So every time that we see this stick, we know that it's ten. So we don't have to count each one of those squares. So if I want to know how many cubes I have, I can count this as a group of ten. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ten and three more makes thirteen. All right, let's try it again. I wanna know how many I have this time. I still know that this is 10, so now I can count them out. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 10 and nine more makes 19. All right, one more time, let's give it a try. All right, now I wanna count these, still 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 10 and five more makes 15. Now let's take a look at your worksheet for today. Today there is only a blue sheet. There's no green sheet that goes with it. So you don't need to search for that. And just like we had in our 10 stick, today on your paper, you are going to have 10 cubes. And those are the blue cubes. We see we have a group of five, one, two, three, four, five, and then five more. One, two, three, four, five. And we know that five and five make 10. They also look like they are a 10 frame. So we know that's a group of 10. So on each one of these, we do not need to count that each time because we know it's 10. So if we're gonna start at 10 and count on, it's gonna sound like this. 10, 11, 12, 13. That shows 10 and three more which is 13. All right, let's do one more together. Again, I know this is a group of 10, so I can count it. 10 and one more makes 10, 11. And we see that in the number right here. I see that the first one tells us that is our one group of 10. And I see the second one tells us that that means that I have one more. If we go back to the 13, we can see that same thing. The first one, tells us we have one group of 10. The three tells us that we have three extra ones. So the one is in the 10 spot, the three is in the one spot, which means 10 and three more. I'm gonna let you guys do this last one on your own. If we flip it over, we see some more groups of 10 and some extras, but this time we see a number, a question mark, and then we see a smiley face or a frowny face. And they wanna know, the number that they chose, is that really what this shows or not? So let's see, I see one, hmm, that's not a group of 10 like we've been working on. So they're saying that they think this, this is a group of 10 and three more. That would make 13, but that's not what I'm seeing. I'm seeing one, two, three, four. Not the same thing. So I'm gonna say, no, this is not 13, so I'm gonna color in the frowny face. And if you want, you can go ahead and write what it really is. It's really four, it's not 13. Then the next one, they are saying that they think it is 14, because I see a one and a four. Let's count it and see if it's 14. I see 10, 11, 12. Hmm, not again, they didn't do it right again. So I'm gonna cross that 14 out. I'm gonna write that it really is 12. And then again, I'm gonna fill in that frowny face. Let's do one more together, the last one, and then you guys are done. The last one, they are thinking that it's 15. Let's look and see. We see 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yay, they finally have one that is correct. So I'm gonna 
fill in the smiley on this one. They got it. All right, friends, you keep working hard and we will see you and talk to you soon. Thank you, bye.